Hi, everybody. This is a story about a little owl who got hurt and he needed help from his animal friends. And some of them were rather hesitant. This book is written by Angela Muse and illustrated by Helen Wu. One December day, a bitter wind blew steady and snow fell thick like Jack Frost's confetti. A young barred owl had fallen from his perch, injured and cold, for safe harbor he searched. Though his wings weren't broken, he was too weak to fly. He had to find shelter on this cold, snowy night. He slowly hopped into a jackrabbit's den. Was the space too cramped for him to come in? The sharp owl talons frightened the hare. You can't stay here. I've no room to spare. Please, sir, just let me stay for one night. My wings must heal before I can take flight. What will you eat? asked the nervous rabbit. Would you share some bites of your tasty carrots? Show me this kindness and I'll return it again. With that, the rabbit welcomed him in. The next day, the owl was still on the mend. He hopped up to a warm cave to lay his weary head. A bat approached. She seemed upset. You cannot stay here. I sincerely regret. Please, miss, just let me stay for one night. My wings must heal before I can take flight. The bat asked the owl, what will you eat? I gladly make do with some fruit as a treat. The bat read a book before falling asleep. Soon she was snoring, not making a peep. The next morning, the owl set out again, still feeling weak, still on the mend. A red barn door was left open wide. The injured owl hopped just inside. A small brown mouse didn't like him there. You can't stay here, he said with a glare. Please, sir, just let me stay for one night. My wings must heal before I can take flight. Show me this kindness and I will return. The mouse took pity on the shivering bird. You can stay, but what will you eat? I'll be all right with a few crumbs of your cheese. The mouse shared his food with a large fowl and finally warmed up to the feathery owl. Feeling better, but not ready to fly, the owl encountered a duck nearby. Would you let me stay in your nest? I don't know, said the duck, most distressed. Please, miss, just let me stay for one night. My wings must heal before I can take flight. The duck made room so the owl could stay, trusting that soon he would be on the way.
And what exactly will you eat? asked the duck. Some of your worms and snails from the muck. The very next day was Christmas Eve. The owl was ready to fly home to his tree. On his flight back, the owl kept his word, making brief stops to those who deserved, leaving a gift and a quick little note. Thank you, friend, is all that he wrote. When the rabbit awoke on Christmas Day, he found a bundle of carrots and some sweet-smelling hay. A stack of new books was left for the bat, for the mouse a block of cheese big enough for a rat. The duck received a perfect gift for her nest, a warm blanket given by her feathery guest. Each year, the Christmas owl continued with gifts. He visited his four friends on annual trips, remembering the kindness when he needed it most and celebrating friendship with those he'd grown close. And that is the story of the Christmas Owl. Christmas is a time of giving.